Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, it is time for an unboxing, a gargantuan unboxing. So folks, I got Tiamat for Christmas. If you follow me on other social media, you definitely know that. I, I absolutely could not believe it. You know, a lot of presents aren't really surprises, right? Like you tell people what you want or you have a wish list or you ask for something. In this case, I fully intended to pick this up on my own, but during my vlogmas on my other channel, uh, yeah, someone saw that I was actually after this. So they picked it up and uh, that just absolutely shocked me. So we're gonna unbox Tiamat. Dungeons and Dragons, Icons of the Realms, Gargantuan Tiamat, as well as I just stopped by the game shop in Bellevue, Nebraska, and picked up a bunch of other stuff as well. So let's take a look at what's in this bag first, and then we're going to unbox everything. So starting out, let's grab this out of here. There's actually a few things with it. Now, this is a fairly recent release. This is the Dungeons and Dragons, Icons of the Realms, Arch Devils including Bail, Bell, and Zeriel, if I'm pronouncing those correctly. We're definitely going to take a peek at those. These three are actually quite a bit bigger than I was expecting. And then we also picked up multiple individual figures. So we have the female elf champion, which we'll take a closer peek at because I'm sure that's probably too far away. And also the male half orc druid now these two are i believe pathfinder battles it's all whiz kids but two pathfinder battles figures and then a dnd nolzer's marvelous miniatures water elemental now if you know anything about these nolzer's miniatures you know that they are unpainted but with this water elemental you can leave it as is. <laughs> and if you know anything about me, that's probably what I will uh, end up doing. We also picked up some, pretty much if I go to the game shop, I'm grabbing some dice. It does, and this was a color combination I hadn't seen before from Chessex, the lustrous gold silver block. So we grabbed that. And last but not least, Kind of going along with that water elemental, we picked up the Dungeons and Dragons, Icons of the Realms, Summoned Creatures Set 2, which includes a fire elemental, air elemental, earth elemental, a green hag, a satyr, and a coatl. So the only elemental it did not have was the water elemental. So that's why I picked that up as well to go along with those, because folks, for Dicey Depths, a sixth character class is coming it is going to be the conjurer that can conjure one of these four elementals so that kind of inspired all of that but anyway so that's what i picked up today at the game shop but of course the most important thing is this is tia matt so let's see how badly i struggle trying to get this thing out of the box out of the packaging the tape has already been removed. Believe me, I had this thing unboxed the moment that I got it for Christmas. So I did keep it safe, though. This is the first time I'm unboxing it in my game room, however. This is one wing. Look at this thing. This is one wing. Are you kidding me? This almost looks like a hand axe. This is insane. Um pricing i think the price tag is right there it's like 420 dollars are you kidding me that seems i mean that is a lot of money but uh i know normally for presents you'll see people take the price tag off no harm no foul here i already was well aware of the price because i was fully intending again on picking it up myself and uh here's the tale look at this thing this is the tail alone. All right, next up is the other wing. And we gotta put Tiamat together because, as you can see, we kinda got a table of terrain going on here. That's right, we are going to do battle. We gotta put Tiamat through a Dicey Depths battle. Each head is going to have its own stats. Each head is gonna have the stats of a boss. 
So we're going to have a party of heroes, essentially, up against five bosses at once. And they're all going to be level zero heroes, and I cannot wait to see how quickly they are dismantled. And that'll gauge, that'll give me a bit of a gauge to how strong a hero would need to be in Dicey Depths in order to even have a shot. A full party of what level heroes would even have a chance against Tiamat. Look at this. Is this not absolutely nuts? All right, so that is the box and our little... Uh, boards here. Let's just shuffle these back up a little bit. Now let's put Tiamat together. So if I remember how I did this the first time, we have one wing here. We have another wing on the other side. And it looks like they probably like that. I heard a click there. I haven't heard one on the other side yet. Okay, and then let's put the tail on and get rid of this other plastic. But look at this thing, folks. Are you kidding me? Unreal. Unbelievable. Tr even trying to make this bad and reaching across the table. Look at this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is freaking gigantic. Okay. So before we do some close-ups, because we will, let's unbox some of this other less exciting stuff. And this will also give us a chance to put, you know, like an actual mini here for scale as to how big this thing truly is. So we have these. We can set the dice to the side. I have nothing to uh, clip or tear the tape off. So let's pause momentarily while I grab that and we will be back. Okay, and we are back now with a box cutter. So let's go ahead and dive into the Summon Creature Set 2. I wasn't all that impressed with Set 1. The, I mean, the Pegasus looks amazing. If they sold that Pegasus by itself, I would be all over that. Let me bring these up close. Actually, let's flip this around. I know I said we close-ups yet, but I mean, come on. Look at this thing. The five heads. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. That's why I set this table up. We set this whole table up so that we can do a full-on Dicey Depths battle against Tiamat, against possibly all six. Do you think that'll be overkill? I don't know. They might all still lose. I'm anxious to see how well they do. Here are the elementals. And the other things, too. There's other cool stuff in here. Here is the earth elemental. They're all like golems. Like, that just looks cool. And I can't wait to come up with the stats for each of these. We might actually have something that'll heal heroes with the water elemental. Here is the air elemental. Love it. This fire elemental is going to be trouble. There we go. Fire elemental. And then these other ones, which I can definitely find uses for. So here is the green hag. So the green hag, and again, I know nothing about Dungeons and Dragons. Well, I shouldn't say nothing. I did play in one campaign for a few months. But I definitely didn't know that a green hag was a summonable creature. Here is a satyr. Now this is just a cool fig. And lastly, a coatl, which sounds familiar, at least in like Final Fantasy games. Like, as an enemy you come across, but otherwise it just looks really cool. Like this winged serpent, I assume it is. All right, so let me put this back up here. And we will unbox the rest of this stuff. Okay, so now let's take a peek. I guess, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. And I was going to say you can almost see the entire thing just through the packaging. But what fun is that? So let's see if I can rip this apart without taking up too much time. 
because this is going to be a miniature that we can hold up next to Tiamat and see how big it looks. I love this. I love the shield. So again, this is the female elf. What is it? Champion. I love that elemental blade. I love the flowing cape. I love the armor. This would be a perfect knight for Dicey Depths. All right, now I gotta take this off the tripod again because I wanna put the female elf champion up against Tiamat and see what it looks like. I'm gonna reach way over there. Look at this. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Look at that. That's insane. Look how tiny. Look at this. Holy cow. Are you kidding me? That is absolutely insane. Just imagine being down there and looking up at this. Like, how is that even possible to even think about being up for the challenge that is absolutely nuts look at the scale of this thing look how infinitely tiny the elf champion looks with compared to these wings just one flap of the wing smashes sends the elf champion flying are you kidding me that is absolutely nuts good god all right so now that we've <laughs> thoroughly exasperated ourselves. Next up is the male half-orc druid. And you know the druid was the last new character class introduced in Dicey Dips. And I appreciate that these do, obviously they come on built-in bases for stability, but they do still come with their actual bases. I wonder when these individual figures will start coming with clear bases. But uh, with the druid being a new character class, we had a female druid. Now we have a male orc druid. Look at this. Summoning a creature. Just like in Dicey Depth. Summoning an animal companion. Very, very cool figure. Gosh, I love it. Every time I go to the game shop, I see more and more new figures. And then this one's probably been out for a while, right? What's the date on here? 2019. And of course, you could do a wash or something to make it even more blue. But I appreciate the fact that it is already fairly blue. Now, this one, I may want to put on its base. How does it stand up? Actually, it stands up okay. I still may glue it to it, the base that it comes with, though. So it'll be like that. But look at this. That looks so cool. So this is the water elemental. So now we have all four elementals. And even the mighty earth golem, the mighty earth elemental, looks, looks juvenile <laughs> up against Tiamat. That's crazy. All right. So the last box to unbox are these arch devils now this uh cost what the price tag on top is from something else this was 90 dollars. so each of these figures is 30 bucks now i had a 20 percent off coupon and i had gift cards so i didn't spend a single cent of my own money on these but still I'm very excited about them. Let's bring them over here. Here we go. Here they are in the plastic. But even more importantly is here they are in person. Now I'm going to hold up the green hag next to them. So we can see these are actually really big. Look at this. And this one is Archduke Zeriel of Avernus. Look at those flaming wings. Are you kidding me? Oh, ho, 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 ho. absolutely love it. Look at that face. Good Lord. That is so cool. Green hag for scale. That's only the first of three. These again are much bigger than I thought they would be. And here we have Bale. 
huge, gigantic, formidable, holding that gigantic mace. One swing of that mace would absolutely demolish a green hag. Are you kidding me? Green hag for scale. Look at that. Oh, oh yes. That is so fantastic. More boss figures for Dicey Depths. So you can see everything I get <laughs> eventually turns into something I use for Dicey Depths. All right, here we go. And the last one is Bell. I believe that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Look at that huge flaming sword. Look at those wings. And look at the green hag. And that's about right, because look, the green hag's head is about the same size as all of these heads adorning Bell's waist and look at that green hag is just so tiny in comparison oh my gosh those heads go all the way around this is just this is absolutely my favorite of the three by far look at that armor with that face on it yeah that is just so freaking cool thank goodness for pre-painted figures because i go to the game shop and i see just unbelievable amounts of unpainted figures and i know a lot of people like painting their own figures but i look at them and i'm like gosh there's so many cool figures that come unpainted which means i will never ever get a chance to play with those figures because i do not i refuse to paint anymore i used to now look at this comparison look at this gigantic demon lord are you kidding me? Look at this gigantic demon lord next to Tiamat. Oh my gosh. Look at the wing difference. One wing. Look at that. Is that not absolutely insane? So look at the scale we have here. This is absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. So you think, okay, there's the standard figure that is a an elf champion okay there's an earth golem pretty big in comparison here is bell absolutely gigantic in comparison to the elf champion and then here is tiamat <laughs> oh my gosh i mean you don't even get the look at the scale of the body we didn't even like look at the whole back of the body that's just absolutely nuts all right folks so that was our whiz kids dungeons and dragons unboxing look at our beautiful board here it looks fantastic we're about to set this up keep an eye out on the channel because we are going to i think i'm either going to do it live i don't know we'll see what i end up doing but uh we're definitely gonna have our dicey depths heroes go up against tiamat oh my gosh it's gonna be a slaughter all right thank you all so much for watching folks i do truly appreciate it and until next time